ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. I'm Amajal Knowles with your Sunday sports. A scary sight last night in the NBA as Bahamian big man DeAndre Ayton suffered an apparent leg injury last night. He was ruled out for the remainder of Saturday's game against the Grizzlies. He left with an ankle sprain. Now, Kellen Olsen of ArizonaSports.com reports that Ayton sustained the injury during the third quarter and needed assistance getting to the locker room. He finished the contest with 17 points and 13 rebounds, one assist and one block across 27 minutes of play. For the Athletics, Bob Young Aiden was placed in a wheelchair by Suns personnel, get him from the tunnel to the locker room. Gina Mizell of the Athletic added that DeAndre was seen on crutches after the game. Now Aiden is averaging 16 points on 58% shooting from the floor, along with 10 rebounds for the last place in the Western Conference Phoenix Suns. Also from the association, more bad news for a Bahamian Hooper last night as Buddy Heald and the Kings were officially eliminated from the playoff race as they fell to the Houston Rockets 119-108, to but he had 21 in the loss. The Kings widely exceeded expectations to stay in the playoff race until the end of March, but Elimination Day was a cold realization that they are at least a year away from achieving a goal the players set for themselves. On the loss, Buddy saying, we haven't accomplished anything yet. We didn't make the playoffs, so we're like the other 16 teams who did not make the playoffs. He scored 21 points again and made three three-pointers. He now has 581 career three-point field goals, and he needs 19 more over the last six games to break Damian Lillard's record of 599 over his first three NBA seasons. Well, with the Carifta Swimming Championships around the corner, our news team caught up with some first-time competitors that plan to make their mark in Barbados. Well, I feel like excited and very happy that I was able to make um, the Carifta team. And what I do is try and balance everything. I try to stay up to date with my homework and schoolwork and stuff and practice and go to bed on time. Um, it's a bit overwhelming sometimes, but... I feel that I can handle it as long as I stay up to date with everything and keep practicing. Well, I mean, eventually I'll settle because like, I know that everyone on the blocks is scared as me, but I can't let them know that I'm scared. In tennis news, Bahamian Justin Roberts, who plays for the Arizona State Sun Devils, was pivotal in helping them clinch the series title this year versus the University of Arizona with a three-setter win 7-5, 3-6, and 6-2 against the Wildcats. According to Justin's coach, he is a consistent performer, and to see him rebound, refocus, and get back on track was huge, and he did an unbelievable job helping them secure the win. Roberts is currently the 97th-ranked player in the country. In archery news, Tasso Roker is a two-time winner of the Bahamas Field Archery Association's Archery Tournament, winning the 2019 edition. Now, the tournament weekend started last Friday with the open of the official tournament practice day, with archers moving in and out of the field, shooting to sight in their bows for the big day. Now, the hotly contested championship title for this tournament was on the mind of all six participants of the compound division of the tournament. With the rain, wind, and overcast conditions for most of the day, archers shot their rounds with persistence and diligence. Now, the tournament started at around 10.30 and ended at around 2.45 and was packed with excitement from start to finish with Steve Jackson taking the known distance round with 115 points. Tasso Roker, the reigning champion, very close with 114. Robert Whittington and Monty Roker tying the first round with 107 points. However, in the end, Tasso Roker was crowned the winner of this tournament for the second straight year with 231 points out of a possible 288. And and in baseball news and action from the Freedom Farm under 12 Invitational that is ongoing at the Freedom Farm Baseball Park in Yamacraw. Well, it looks like the words from team manager Kibai Martin from the U.S. Virgin Islands will come to fruition as USVI knocked off Freedom Farm Blue yesterday 4-1. to one. The winning pitcher there was Patrick Moore. The losing pitcher was Rohan Culmer. Now, Team Blue did take an early one-zip lead after the first inning. However, the Island boys would tie the score at one apiece. After two, then in the third, they would attack on three more runs to secure the victory. Game two, Legacy out of Grand Bahama took on JBLN. 
This one there would go to Legacy 6-2. The winning pitcher was Arthur Roll, and the losing pitcher was Byron Fines. Now we love the results from today's championship game in tomorrow's newscast. And that's been a look at sports on this Sunday. I'm Amajal Noel, so quick check on weather when we return. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. 